Hello, my name is Andrew Wilkinson, and today we're going to be looking at the Add Users Assistant. So one thing we always like to focus on is the why. The Add User Assistant is an extremely powerful tool to help, one, with the bulk import of users. Now, I said bulk, but really, any number of users that you are importing, you are saving time. It is automatically creating them. You don't have to go through and manually set up all of their individual settings. So it saves a large quantity of time if you are asked to import a bunch of users, using this assistant can save lots of time. Also, as is typical of a bulk import tool, it also reduces errors. People are very error prone. A wizard that imports things from an Active Directory server or a mail server or a comma separated variable file is not very prone to error. And third, it is very helpful with recovering lost users. If there was an issue where all of the users need to be re-added or rebuilt, well, you don't have to go back and do it manually, which is time consuming and error prone. You can simply use the assistant to pull them from an Active Directory server, a mail server, or a comma separated variable. Okay, before demoing the product, I just wanted to lay down a few key points. The first is that the Add Users Assistant is a wizard that you launch in the user's container. The second thing is that it allows import from Active Directory servers, mailbox servers, or you can even create your own comma-separated variable file and use that to import users. Three, it terminates in the user worksheet, which I will show you momentarily, and four, comma-separated variable requirements, or the requirements needed to create one of those files, are defined in the wizard. So that way, you don't have to guess. Well, all right, let's jump right into the product. Okay, here we are in the user's container, and we want to use the Add Users Assistant. So we right-click and can go to User Assistant and Worksheet. You can also do it from the context menu here, User Assistant and Worksheet. As I've mentioned, the worksheet is separate. So, if you want to skip the Add User Assistant, you can click this and go straight to the worksheet, but this whole JIT is about the Add User Assistant. So, we choose Search for New Users. That's the point of this. This is an assistant to find users for you to help you import faster. So, first off, you can discover Windows users or Active Directory users. You can do that by clicking Find. It'll actually search on the domain that you're on. So in our case, it's education domain here. And it'll return all the users that are on the Active Directory server. And then you can click select all if you want to select certain ones, or you can do control shift click to get ranges and you can add those. Dis you can discover from a mail server, which functions much the same way as what we just did with the Windows users. Or you can also import from a CSV. Now, as I mentioned, if you click the example button there, you can see all of the possible columns that you can have when creating a file like this. The only one that's required is the username because that's the unique identifier, but you can add an extension, you can have first name, last name, you can have a mailbox, you can even have work groups and station names. Okay. I have actually created one here. You can see I have the usernames, I have their network ID, so they're all part of the EDU domain. I have their mailboxes put in here. I have the work groups they're in. I even have their station names. As you can see, this is very easy to do in a text editor, especially Excel is very useful. Okay, and it's very easy to, uh, to do. So. Again, you can look at the sample data down here for all these fields, but I just wanted to show you what a real one would look like. So we hit close. I'm going to browse for that. So I saved that to my desktop. Travel users. Now, immediately you notice two things. One, it's letting me know that it was not able to resolve that email address. So it's going to warn you. So that's something you can look into if you need to. But also, it will tell you that, hey, you're trying to import a station for this user, or a default station, excuse me, and it doesn't exist. When you get things like this, this is a good time to go back and make sure all of your data is correct. For instance, with the station, go back and add the stations first so you don't have 
this user pointing to a station that doesn't exist. So please pay attention to any warnings. However, for the case of this example, I'm going to choose to override them. I will click Next. It will ask me whether or not I want it to auto extension just sequentially. Notice it picks one up from whatever the highest extension in the user container is. But typically in a complicated extension environment, I'm going to want those in the CSV and it'll say if the CSV doesn't have one, don't give them one. But if the CSV does have one, use that one. Then it will ask me if I want to assign one password for all or I can have a starter password in the CSV. After I click next again, it'll show me what the CSV file that was used was, so I can make sure it's the right one, how many entries were found. I hit finish. Now the users haven't been created yet. This is the worksheet. As I said, it's different. This allows you to just put in some users yourself manually if you needed to add a few. In order for this to be complete, I hit the save button here and voila, all of my users have been created. Thank you so much for watching this just-in-time video short, and I hope it has been helpful. Thank you.